السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته to everyone whenever you are whenever you are today is another difficult and painful decision that I took in April 2008 when I arrived to UK in 1977 and they started work in 1978 then we started the Islamic Relief in 1983 or 84 January 84 Uh, after I got married to my current uh, and only wife in 1983. And Islamic Reef for me was like my first born baby, with a girl or a boy. I lived through all the agony of the process of building it from dust to whatever it is happening now. And I... It was my life mission, it was my vision, it was my thoughts, my dreams, my mentioning, my, 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 all, all. Even sometimes in the good old days, I used to uh, step on the foot of uh, and the toes of my family for Islamic relief. So time came that I have to do different job inside Islamic Leaf because it grown up from no desk organization into few hundred people employees in at the beginning of uh, the this century, 21st century. And we have seen through it big problems and maybe the problems of bombing of the underground in France and accusing Muslim charity of terrorism, the problem of September the 11th, the problems of the Bosnia war, the flooding here, the Chechnya war, the first and second, and, 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 and alhamdulillah went, 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 and we were successfully dealing with it, the earthquake in Pakistan, the flooding in Pakistan, and all these sort of things. And I was made as at my request to become the president because we need another CEO to look after the organization, and I keep traveling uh, abroad to deal with the international communication and networking and, 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 and. And at that time also, I was a board member of Islamic Relief in uh, USA. My travel led me to develop very wide vision that does not undermine the vision of the executive because they are focusing on the deliverable, on the operational side of it. And the gap between me and them started to increase because whenever I travel, I bring a new idea. Whenever I travel, I bring a new idea. Whenever I travel, and people was trying to systemize the structure of the organization and go forward according to a process, according to a, uh, to a system as well. So there were differences between me and the current executive board at that time. This gap started to increase, increase, increase till the time has come where I found, after becoming a board member, especially after September the 11th. After September the 11th, actually Islamic Leaf UK or Islamic Leaf Worldwide was the one who saved the neck of Islamic Leaf USA because we have got all the data and everything and we're providing them with A to Z information to, to, to send it as a report to the FBI and the other department in the organization. And we want to and nationalize the organization so brought a lot of young uh, uh, American uh, board members and they thought as a policy for the United States of America we need to uh, make the whole board as American boards. They did not discuss the decision with somebody like myself who was supposed to be I'm the founder there, me and some local uh, brother there but they discussed it uh, يعني, without my knowledge with the with the board of trustees in UK and uh, they have reached a decision that actually want actually to remove the, the board members from UK and make it USA uh, members. It is no problem with this, but when it comes to you without your knowledge, it becomes a shock. Like when you receive a fax all of a sudden that actually from this day, يعني, يعني, this is the American style anyway. I was not very happy to be very honest. And I went through two painful processes. One is the gap between me and the executives, which they were not wrong, and I was not wrong. The second one, which actually the decision has been taken 
at the time by the rest of the American board with the knowledge of the uh, uh, British or international board. This upsets me more. And I decided in 2006 because I wanted to run fast and I can't run fast because the organization become bigger like a dinosaur. But the other one uh, decision, which actually was for me painful. So I started to look around, try to fund my future uh, and through some companies and others to try to secure an income for me and my family to uh, build the new uh, organization or the new initiative like HIV AIDS, like Humanitarian Forum, like uh, uh, Muslim Child's Forum and, and, and others, which actually uh, started as initiatives when I was in Islamic Leaf. The last of them was actually the HIV AIDS uh, uh, conference in 2007. And in 2000, and in, in November 2007, I went right with my resignation to the uh, a meeting of the board of trustees and told them this is my resignation. Said please don't announce it now. We agreed together to make it from April 2008. People at the time realized that there's some differences between me and the executive. and used to come to my uh, office. Oh, let us have the I said, what? Demonstration for what? Do you think that I'm going to act like Samson and destroy the temple on my head? No way. Get out. Then the trustees themselves could not be able to face the employees by announcing my resignation and told me, please, you do it yourself. We cannot do it. Uh, here, the situation was like that. I was a long-term employee. Nobody could have sacked me. I could have stayed, become a politician, getting my salary and my income and making satisfactory life for my family. But I refused because I wanted to make a change. The second thing is, as I was told to, conf to, to face the, the employees, I, we made a meeting and everybody in the organization came to listen to me. And with my finger and with my strong tongue, I said, I mean strong voice, said, this is final, no U-turn, no discussion, I am out from April 2008. This decision was so painful, more painful than the travel to Libya or uh, separating from my uh, so-called uh, beloved uh, neighbor, I was, I was in love with her, or even travel to uh, UK in 1977. But here, after taking such a painful decision, you have to control the manner of your behavior or the behavior of the manner, but not throwing dust on the organization, not trying to curse the organization and try to be friendly to the organization. And up till now, I'm still a member of quite a few boards. And, and up till now, sometimes I represent the organization and they train the young people inside the organization 12 years onward after leaving the organization. And the Islamic team become far more better than it was when I was there. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.